Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, so today we're going to talk about um, someone on the channel asked me a really important question yesterday and they basically asked me to explain to them how a trailing drawdown works. Now, if you're going to be a prop trader or if you have a prop uh, account, it's important to understand how trailing drawdowns work and also how just other types of drawdown systems like end of day drawdown and how it works and the difference between the two. Um, so I picked three, uh, prop firms today, and I'm basically going to kind of go through their different evaluations and then show you how, um, the drawdown would impact you. So first we're looking at elite trader funding. And, um, so they have several different types of evaluations, which I think is a great thing, um, that they offer because not everybody trades the same way. So they have something called a one-step evaluation. Um, and this is again uses your intraday unrealized profit trailing drawdown so we're going to look at the 25k evaluation for example um, the max drawdown on this account is fifteen hundred dollars so that means if your account value goes from twenty five thousand to twenty six thousand five hundred dollars that means your account will liquidate automatically at twenty five thousand dollars right so when you start out it's going to be $23,500. But if your unrealized account value, uh, if your unrealized gains uh, is $1,500, well, that means your new, like your account liquidates at $25,000. Basically, your drawdown increases as your account increases in value. And the important thing here to note is that it doesn't matter if you realize the gains or not. Unrealized gains impact the drawdown. So. Uh, that's that's how most of them are. A, lo a lot of companies just do it that way. And even if you take a, uh, an evaluation where they might offer an end of day drawdown, they might switch you to a trailing drawdown based on unrealized gains in the pro account. Uh, so it's important to note that. So they offer also what's called an end of day drawdown. Um, end of day drawdown is based on your account value at the end of the day. So Unrealized gains don't really hurt you as much as they would um, with the one-step account, right? So this, let's say you let's use 25k again, 25k account. Um, they have a daily loss limit of $550, and that's important to note. So even though your max drawdown is $1,500, in this specific account type, your end of day um, max loss can only be $550. And the profit target on this account would be $1,750. Um, some people prefer end of day drawdowns uh, because you know markets are volatile, and uh, you know people. Some people want the ability to maybe I don't know save an account by the end of the day, right? If you're trading in an account like the One Step account, if your account goes up to $26,500 and then you did not sell, you were holding for another $1,500 profit and then the market turns against you and then it goes right back down. You lose all your profits. Well, you blew your account. It's that simple. Um, fast track accounts. Um, these are, these are basically like the one step accounts, but you have to hit, hit your goal in, um, I believe 14 calendar days. So, and then there's a static account, which has a max drawdown of 625 and Let's check here and see if this is unrealized, uh, if this is based on unrealized gains. Okay, these evaluations. Okay, yeah, so this one, I guess the drawdown doesn't really move. It just, it's static. That's why it's called a static account. Apex um, is a popular company as well. And all their drawdowns are trailing. It, it's just, there's no daily drawdown. Any account you go with with Apex, it's going to have a regular trailing drawdown. So let's look at... Um, the 150k account this account you're going to start off where your account will liquidate automatically at one hundred forty five thousand dollars which is five thousand below one hundred fifty thousand now if your account value on 150k account goes to say one hundred fifty three thousand dollars that means your new auto liquidate point on the account would be one hundred forty eight thousand dollars and this is based on unrealized gains Meaning you don't have to lock in the profit for them to, to really use that as the, um, you know, to really 
measure that really. So if your account value just decreases five thousand um, dollars before you hit your profit target of nine thousand dollars, you blew the account. Um, pretty straightforward. And we're gonna look at Take Profit Trader for them um, during your evaluation period. You um, they actually do use end of day trailing drawdown, which is helpful. So again, with end of day. Um, the number they use is your end of day account value. So on a 50K account, let's say throughout the day, your account went up to $54,000. But then at the end of the day, you close that, let's say um, $53,000. Well, your account's not going to be blown up, right? Because they're basing it off the previous day's closing value. So your daily loss limit is based on the loss on your account from the previous day. If it wasn't um, end of day, you might blow, blow up your account. Uh, if, if you went from $50,000 to $54,000 and then your account went down from $54,000 to $52,000, if it wasn't end of day drawdown, you would blow the account. Um, but since it's end of day trailing drawdown, you would not have blown the account. Um, so it's important to understand how trailing drawdowns impact your account. If you guys have any questions about trailing drawdowns or end of day drawdown, uh, just shoot me a comment. I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. Be sure to follow on Twitter and on Instagram to get regular updates on the account. And uh, thanks, guys.